Jay Hoff will give it to his teammates. And the Lakers will set up shots and play the bench in this first half. They put three for half a club. And it's good. They give up 33% from behind the arc. Skyforce, they give up 45%. Field goals, 32% from the three-point line. And now a steal. Here comes Jones. He's going to take it, and he'll score it. He played over 10 games with the Milwaukee Bucks. Averaging 13 minutes of contest during his time. There's a three for Ingram. Offensive rebound to Davis. Jones will drive. He'll score. 3.13 to go in the period. And pass up in the air. Stolen away by Jones. Jones had three steals. Made at this level of basketball. Kroppel has his pocket pick. Home run pass to Jay Huff, but it's swiped by Drew Smith. And that one is swiped back. As Pierre Louis. Now he's one of two from behind the arc so far this evening. Ball comes loose, but pops right back. Pierre Louis for three is good. He's shooting 36% from the floor, so the second chance giving them some new life. Jones, dotted line jumper, finds the range. Toss for Jones, no, but he does get it back, and he'll find in closer. Lead back to 11. Hanger in the lane. But it's just single bucket, single bucket, single bucket. And then they'll break through for, you know, they can get 17 in a row if need be. Jones hits for three. G League is not just about players, coaches, and officials. Though other have been able to work their way into the NBA. Adding that point to be able to knock the game at 74. And the Lakers unable to match pace from downtown. Free throw line jumper is good for Jones. Brown will look at the lane. They'll swing it back up top to Jones. Jones steps back for a three. Wow. Mason Jones. Now it's the Lakers' turn. See how patient they are. Pick and roll. Jones quick to the hole, and he'll put it in. Jones, free throw line jumper. It is good. And the Skyforce called timeout with 25.4 seconds left.